2022 and hello to all the new and returning viewers of this channel of mine where I talk about my um, crafts, mainly knitting. <laughs> it's been I think over two months since I last uploaded an, uh, an episode. Uh, like I said, then it, it's been a really crazy fall and uh, well, this spring should be a little easier, but we'll see. <laughs> um, so welcome, my name is Nina and I live in Yveskula in central Finland with my husband, our two kids and a dog and I believe I just put uh, a video at the end uh, of the the beginning of this episode where where I showed him he's sitting pretty close to me right now um, yes uh, it's been a crazy fall but I think I'll talk about it at the end of the episode and that way if you're not interested you can just skip it because <laughs> uh, if you're interested in knitting we'll start with that I do have a few finished objects uh, let's see my notes. I think I have three or four. Well, depending on how you count them, but but I'll start with them and let uh, then we'll see how many of the whips I'll show you. First of all, is a finished object I finished quite a while ago, and I'll insert a video clip of it in here. Here's a pair of gloves that I knit. It's for my younger sister. I um, asked her on her birthday, because I hadn't prepared anything, I asked her whether there was something that she needed, and she said that there's never too, mu too many pairs of gloves or mittens. And so I uh, made this pair of gloves. I used some um, Phil Kawana Arweta Classic yarn together with Ito Sensai um, silk mohair and I cast on uh, 44 stitches with my 3.0 millimeter DPNs then I uh, worked some 2x2 two two ribbing for I think 25 rounds then I uh, changed into bigger needles, 3.5 millimeter, and uh, knit plain stockinette for five rounds. And then I started the thumb gusset on one one needle, and then um, I started this patterning on the back of the hand. I'll talk about this sort of ribbing more um, in a whip that I'm going to show you <coughs> but yeah I think it looks really nice and then of course uh, did the fingers and and the thumb when I got to that point Let's, let me see if I can get it on <laughs> with just one hand because I'm using I'm holding my camera in my other hand yup Pretty much, yeah. So this is how it looks um, on on your hand. I think they're pretty nice, and I really like this these yarns together. I'd thought about making a pair of gloves with with that combination, or uh, uh, Ficklana or Weta Classic with a, a mohair yarn, and then I went to the yarn store. Did they do? got the Arweta and asked the, the shopkeeper or or the clerk, whatever, <laughs> the salesperson, uh, if she knew um, mohair that would have uh, the same sort of color or colorway that, than the, the, uh, the Arweta that I used. Uh, the color of the Arweta is medium gray, I think it was 955. And the Ito Sensei is top dark, uh, top dark gray, I think. You'll find that info down below in the description box. 
there is a link to my Ravelry project page. But yeah, they're ready now and I can go and get them sent to my sister. My second finished object is also something I don't have anymore. It's a Christmas present for one of my nieces. I think I'll put a video here <laughs> and some pictures. Um, so they are a pair of ankle, uh, ankle high socks, <laughs> no high. Anyway, um, I used Frau Oda Socke Sockenwolle yarn in the colorway Rose Beauty and uh, I had 2.5 millimeter that's US size one and a half uh, needles. I knit them two at a time on Magic Loop toe up. And I used uh, a contrasting color in the toe and in the cuff. Yes, <laughs> uh, that was a Drops Fable yarn in uh, colorway number 112, which is apple green. I started with casting on 16 stitches on Judy's Magic Cast On. Uh, and then I increased the number and that started with the drops fable and then I increased uh, the stitches until I had 60 so 30 on one needle and 30 on the other and then I switched to the Frau Ode Socke yarn and like I said knitting two at a time uh, and one into um, get as far as I could with the yarn I had because I had already knit this uh, this niece a pair of socks using that yarn before I gave them to her on her birthday and what I had left over I used for her Christmas present and uh, this time I didn't really have quite enough <laughs> yarn uh, to finish the socks or even to finish the heel. Uh, for the heel I used Minna Sorvala's uh, Lamest Socks or the heel instructions for that one uh, more or less. I'm not quite sure if I uh, followed the instructions well but that's what I sort of used. And the cabling on the top of the foot uh, was just something that I made up as I went uh, and I think they weigh about 25 grams in total I'm not sure if I weighed them after I finished them uh, but I do have on my Ravelry how much yarn I had left of the Frau Oda Socke yarn and I have a really small nugget of of the Pobble so I'll be more or less able to calculate how how much yarn I used for the socks but yeah that was uh, my Christmas present for her and I've shown the other pairs of socks before uh, on last year's uh, podcast episodes so I have three nieces three sisters I all I knit them all a pair of ankle socks for Christmas and I also sewed sewed them each a bag using a pattern called Sac Fripouille which I bought from makers.fr and um, I used some leftover jeans or some you know jeans that I would have uh, thrown in in the bin in the waist and uh, then I had some zippers that I had in my stash I think I bought them from a second-hand store <laughs> um, but I did have to buy well I had bought uh, the lining uh, fabric and I bought uh, a ribbon that I used in the inside of the bag to sort of finish the seams of the uh, the tops or both sides of the bag, and then um, and then there was a sort of small ribbon uh, in the seam on the outside of the bag. I think I had 
a video showing one of the bags. Uh, and I think I have talked about the bags before or about the first one last spring on one of the episodes, my podcast episodes. So yeah, so that's sort of finished object number two or three and well, because I did finish the last bag on like the really last moment. I finished sewing it uh, just before we drove to my mom's for Christmas and we drove there on the 23rd and I was hand sewing the ribbons in the inside of the bag as I was at my mom's. So <laughs> Because I saw my sister and her family on the 25th, which is not the day we give the presents. We give the presents on the 24th, but anyway, I did give those nieces their presents on the 25th. And they got their bags and their, their socks on that day. Yes, yeah, so that was my f sort of finished object number two slash three. And then also have one more it's a pair of socks that I have on on the mannequin feet that I've shown before oh. so here they are let's see okay now you can see them um, this pattern is called Train of Thoughts by Annina Päivärinta and the yarn I used here is Patton's Koi Sock Stripes I think I have well, I had two scale, uh, balls it comes in 50 gram balls so this is the yarn I used and this is something I got a few years ago from a viewer who sent me some lovely yarn and now I finally got to uh, using this one um, so it has a 152 meters in a hundred gram uh, near 50 grams so that's uh, 304 meters in a hundred grams and it's 75% washable wool 25% nylon quite a soft yarn I'd say and not very tightly spun you can see sort of in here where it has like two colors not very tightly spun but very nice uh, in the hand and I used about I used started knitting them two uh, no one at a time but from the inside of of each of the balls hoping to get more or less uh, a matching pair so this pair also was knit from uh, toe up and I used Judy's magic cast on in the toe uh, let's see I marked down which needles I used because it was different from what I usually use because it was like I said 304 meters in 100 grams which is heavier weight than the standard fingering so I used 2.5 millimeter needles for the cuff and actually for the tip of the toe also and uh, that's US size one and a half and 3.0 millimeter uh, in the rest of the sock which is US size uh, two and a half I used um, circulars on the uh, on the cast on because that's the easiest and besides I really wanted to have a nice and tight uh, toe it's not gonna focus but yeah <laughs> there's the nice and tight toe uh, and that's why I used a smaller needle in that because it tends, at least with me, <laughs> it tends to be uh, just a little bit looser than the rest of the sock or the rest of the toe. So at least for the cast on, and I think I knit just a few rounds with the smaller 2.5 millimeter uh, circs in the toe. And then I 
change to my uh, 3.0 millimeter DPNs uh, to continue uh, the rest of the sock and has this uh, cabling going in the front and it's the mirror image in the other sock uh, and then I didn't the sort of row gauge did not match at all <laughs> but it was fine I was just you know measuring uh, to determine where to start the heel uh, it has a short row heel which is not my forte uh, it's not my favorite either because I'm not very good at knitting it and I did have to use a darning needle to to sort of tidy this up I'm pretty sure you don't hear it uh, on the video but I have to I'd had to pause the video a couple of times uh, because like there's a military Air Force base I'd say about 60 kilometers or so from here and apparently they're doing some sort of flying exercises now uh, the fighter is a pretty loud but uh, from my pre previous experience uh, I've noticed that on the video uh, you don't really hear the sound of the, the planes but you do have this sort of metallic clang in my voice. Anyway, it's ceased for the moment. Anyway, so we're talking about the heel. Uh, and like I said, it's not my favorite. I've had to darn it to make it a little bit tighter, uh, neater. And uh, I do have some reservations as to how well they will wear. Because I'm afraid it's going to be a little too weak. But, you know, it's on the side of the foot. So maybe uh, it's not prone to wear and tear that much. Um, I did <laughs> mess up the, the zigzag a little bit. So this one is as in the pattern. This one isn't. So if, if you're going to check the link that I put down... Uh, in the description box and I have linked uh, the pattern in my project page then um, it'll be a little different in there because I did a boo-boo it doesn't matter <laughs> it's fine this way but and I of course uh, did it reversed in the other socks so that they're they are a pair uh, the stripes match pretty well not entirely but pretty well I think actually it's pretty fun how they're like sort of contrasting even though it is it's it's the same yarn <laughs> and I didn't do anything I just knit on but yes that's my last finished object uh, oops wrong page did I write anything down in here? Mm, no, that's it. I did a sewn bind off because I tend to do uh, a bit too tight. Uh, if I use the normal ca uh, cast off or bind off, like and need to pull one over the second one and, and so forth. Uh, I don't like the Jenny surprisingly stretchy bind off. It flares and and I know it doesn't show when it's on the foot but anyway I found that the sewn bind off is something that looks nice or doesn't look that different but it is like very very stretchy. In here so I like like that one uh, my gloves are something I got from my sister from my other sister my older sister um, for my birthday last year but yeah so that's that's uh, what I have as for the finished objects now I only have two uh, whips to show you uh, there are other whips, but only two that I've actually worked on.
first of them is a really small one and I could have um, finished it if I'd really wanted to but I had something more interesting to knit so here it is it doesn't look much of anything well I can understand so I've knit the pieces but I haven't sewn them together this is uh, a pattern called Christmas Gnomes by Creative Neats. Uh, I use some, I think, DK weight yarn. DK yarn weight. Um, didn't have any ball bands or anything. S leftovers in my in my stash. I think this one is the body. Um, uh, there are a lot of people who've been making gnomes this winter and last year also, well, last winter, um, I wanted to see whether it was a fun little project that I'd enjoy making and of course where I could use my stash, my uh, leftovers. So I picked a pattern, a free pattern on Ravelry and just to see whether I like it or not. This pattern um, has you knit the pieces flat but uh, I changed them into working in the round where I could and uh, it's it's not a great pattern um, in my opinion of course it's free so you uh, well, it doesn't or how could I say it? Uh, I shouldn't shouldn't say too bad things about it because you know, I got it for free but um, and one thing is that I used my phone to uh, read the instructions and look at the pictures if it were in a larger scale maybe I would have seen better or understood it better I don't know <laughs> but anyway for example the body as far as I know, if you use the pattern or do it as the pattern says, you, well, you'll have a seam in here. And I think that uh, it's the middle of the, the tummy, the belly of the gnome. So I didn't want to have a seam at the front. I know my seaming skills I know they're not good <laughs> so I just decided to uh, do it in a round but the thing is that well I I do think th it's this way around but it doesn't say in the pattern it tells you to cast on a number of stitches and then make increases and decreases in certain places and and there's nothing like ambiguous about that but it doesn't say if you started from the neck or from the bottom or at least I didn't see and I did try and look close boy but it, it's a funny shape though I think you know there are these was it decreases maybe it was decreases in here uh, they sort of look like uh, the the shoulders but then there's this really weird bump here so it can't be the stomach the stomach would be like down here so maybe it is this way around and then you'd have the stomach sort of pouch <laughs> or something rounded belly here but then these things really don't make sense either so as you can see I haven't um, sewn it together and I haven't even stuffed it out uh, I want to use something a little heavier at the butt so that it'll be one of the gnomes that can sit on, on, a, on a shelf or something so this is anyway the, the um, middle part then you have the hat. I have some uh, pearl stitches. Uh, 
I ran out of <laughs> I didn't have quite enough yarn so this one was the last piece I knit and I ran out of the the red but then I used just a little bit of uh, white and it looks okay of course but uh, it won't have fa a face so it's one of those gnomes that like have their uh, hat and then there is a nose a nose that will be peeking from uh, like between the hat and the body and then of course I have two hands two hands and two legs so I'll probably use something a little heavier here uh, at the feet too so that they'll dangle down we'll see um, what did I did I write down nothing special yeah I'll, I'll, I said all, already everything that I'd written down so that that was a little bit of something I knit these in two days and I didn't have a lot of knitting time while I was doing them so it's not a big thing and then of course you know figuring out which uh, piece or is actually figuring out uh, what way around the body is that's the next thing I, I gotta do and then the stuffing and all that won't take too much time but you know just gotta do it anyway the uh, my second whip is something that I have been working a lot on and I've been enjoying it and I really like it um, this is what it looks like now it's gonna be a sweater uh, this pattern is called Lady Empoisonnée uh, the designer is Triple L de Mag I don't think she uses her like real whole name Magdalena is her first name but it's knit bottom up and here you can see something that may look familiar if you think about the gloves that I knit my sister so this is where I got the patterning into my sister's gloves uh, back of the hand it's really pretty I really like it and then it's got a lot of um, cables and some yarn overs in the middle and then some uh, it's not pearl stitching it's something else or whatever you know here in, in the at the side I used uh, drops baby merino yarn here uh, this is a uh, 350 meters in 100 grams or 50 gram balls it's 175 meters in 50 grams it's 100% wool and I have been using my oh, 3.5 millimeter that's US size four, yes. Um, needles here in the ribbing and then 4.0 millimeter needle at the body of the sweater. That's US size six. And we first knit it in the round and then at the armhole, so start at the armhole, you start working back and forth and, and then you finish one half and then the other half and uh, when you've like finished this half you'll leave the stitches on hold work the other one leave the stitches on hold and then the, do the back and once you've uh, knit everything you do a three needle bind off that's what I did yesterday evening so I have this project in a really nice um, stage to show you so this is where I make three needle bind off and it'll be at the shoulder and this is how it looks um, when you're wearing it so now the next thing that I'll be doing is start the sleeve and this one has a set in sleeve so you start at the 
I think, or if I remember correctly, start with the shoulder and start working back and forth until you're, you'll be make, uh, knitting it uh, in the round and the uh, top part of the arm will have some sort, I think maybe this panel or something. So it will have something other than just plain stockinette stitch. And what was the number of the, this purple color? I already put, a, uh, put the tag away. This color is number 14. So yeah, I've been enjoying um, knitting this. Uh, it's not totally mindless knitting, of course, because there's a chart for the for the cabling and all that but but anyway I enjoy it and I of course do knit it while I watch uh, YouTube videos I'm so far behind on everything I watch but yeah I'm really enjoying this and I can't wait to get to uh, start knitting uh, the sleeves it's it's really really pretty right so that was everything that i have about knitting uh, if you've seen my podcast before you'll know that i do have other whips but i haven't worked on them at all i haven't uh, bought any more mohair yarn for the muscle bra hat i have not knit the double knitting gloves and what else do I have anyway haven't been working on them at all um, so that's the end of knitting or any kind of arts and crafts just a little bit of uh, chatter here at the end so if you're not interested I'll see you next time whenever that is uh, so yeah uh, I think it was like two three months ago since I last uploaded an episode and I told you then that it's been uh, super busy uh, as for work and and of course you know that was uh, towards the end of the fall semester and yes it was very very busy and I was very tired because I didn't really have much time for me uh, everything that I did was for work and when I went to work uh, early in the morning I returned home at like f between five and six o'clock six o'clock which is not late of course but it only meant that I came home and then I had a bit of something to eat and then I'd s continue working and preparing for the next day which is what you do when you're a teacher so that's normal but sometimes the work that you do at work at home is you you don't have as much of it but yeah last year it was a lot and um like i think i mentioned this summer uh, this summer <laughs> this spring semester should be a little lighter on that so yeah <laughs> so um uh we spent christmas at my mom's we've all been vaccinated so we decided that it is safe enough and and then we came home we spent a few days at home we were here on new year's eve and then we went to the countryside and that's where i recorded the first uh, bits of video so my finished objects i recorded there at the countryside and now the spring semester has started again um it's been a full week of work today is saturday i hope to have time to uh, edit and upload this episode this weekend so um yeah so i've been working this week and uh I have been taking time to uh, knitting, I can't say every evening, but almost every evening, so so it'll be better for my for myself, of course. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, looking really nice and sunny today and uh, not too cold, a 
couple of degrees below freezing I think but not too bad so I hope you're enjoying yourself whatever you're doing and um, can, I'm not gonna make any kind of promises as to when I'll be recording next episode but you know you'll see when I do <laughs> if you want to keep uh, keep in touch or if you want to be notified when I upload my next video of course there's the bell the subscribe and bell button that you can click here on YouTube okay see you next time bye